Hey there everyone, a uh, quick progress update video for version 3.0 of the community theme creator. Um, I've deviated from uh, focusing on effects um, because there was an awful lot of uh, noise on the forum regarding thumbnails and thumbnails for favorites and recents. They were, uh, they were being cut off, um, so I really wanted to address it. Those elements are um, have never been touched since they were implemented. So um, uh, I wanted to uh, kind of bring them up to date and address, obviously, the uh, the cutoff issue. All right. So let's get into it. So we'll start with uh, text filters view. Uh, it's empty. We'll just go into it. All right. We'll just take the defaults. We'll move this over to the right. We'll add favorites. Here it is. It's a little bit different to what you've seen before. Let me just alter the size. All right. We'll go down to uh, a new panel for the thumbnail uh, selected item. So I want to give it uh, a background color. Mm, kind of a muted background color. And uh, let's add curved border. And I'm going to scale the image up to, I don't know, 81%. Let's see. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. And I've got a, a margin on the left and right hand side. Okay. Um, if I were to remove, see, it all depends on the um, box image, um, the game uh, image for the associated platforms. Some are um, very narrow, some are very wide, depending on the on the platform. So for uh, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. NES, for example, uh, I believe they're wide. For the PSP, they're kind of narrow. Or 3DO, they're very tall and narrow. So I wanted to allow uh, a bit of a gap on the left hand, right hand side. Hence the margin. Okay, so now if I add recents, okay, it's automatically inherited the same properties from favorite. Um, and I mean, you can have them at different sizes if you want. Um, it will just look a bit odd, but regardless, um, I'm going to inherit the same size here. All right, just for consistency sake. Now, like I said, for synchronization, I could go in to recents and change the background to green and it automatically changes favorite and vice versa. Uh, all of these properties are automatically synchronized between the two because when the code is generated, Big Box is uh, essentially pulling these properties or setting these properties in one, one location. <clears throat> so visually in the editor, they're synchronized. Okay. All right. Anyway, I like the blue. I am going to publish the theme. Let's launch Big Box. And I was already in here, as you can see. Let's go down to a platform where I have uh, both favorites and recents. I think it's PlayStation. There you go. All right. I said the 3DO was the one that had a very narrow box. Yep. Um, and then 
NES, I think it was, right? Yeah, just different various sizes, but it obviously considers that. Um, let's just make one more change. Let's give it a border. Copy the blue. Let's make it a little bit more muted. And then because we've introduced the border, I don't want the image to be kind of butting right up against the border. So we'll reduce the uh, content size. Uh, let's darken this a little bit. Like so. All right. And again, they're in perfect synchronization. Um, and actually, while we're while I'm here, why don't I just change the well, change the size of the thumbs just to prove a point that regardless of the size, you won't get any cutoffs. And I'm just going to generate the XAML only. Go back to big box, reload. Let's go to PlayStation where I've got both. And there you go. All right, so it's very kind of basic properties for the favorite and recent thumbnails, but no cutoff. And at least you don't have to build your own XAML um, to get it working. And um, obviously, visually, um, you can deal with this uh, directly now within the community theme creator. All right. So I just wanted to uh, really let you know that it's been addressed in version 3.0 and just give you a glimpse of um, how you can um, configure these thumbs um, once you get your hands on version 3.0. All right. So with that said, that's my weekend <laughs> as far as this is concerned. Um, next weekend, I'll be focusing on um, effects again. So it'll be a couple of weeks until I um, have a video ready um, uh, with something to show you. Okay. So until then, uh, take care, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.